Hello guys and welcome to episode 140 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Von Karsteins on very hard difficulty. In the last episode we destroyed Setra's army and we also destroyed another army that came with him in an epic battle. If you didn't see that make sure you go check it out because it was like a clash of my two big armies uh, versus their three armies and uh, there was a lot of troops on the field that's for sure we have a pretty depleted force afterwards but I'm pretty sure we can kick these guys out uh, Siegfried Balakmir does need some new blood knights so we can raise them from the dead let's do that I need a new terror geist and mortis engine in this one so we'll grab those trying to work out what else we're missing um, Vargas I think are gone and then we need a couple of graveguard and that's about it okay Malsar can now get his balefire oh no that isn't the one I wanted I want the unholy lodestone one yeah we'll wait until we can get the unholy lodestone that's next rank He's only rank. Oh no, maybe not. He's only rank 13. So. Give me a while till he gets that. We can get Undying Horde though, maxed out. That should help him replenish for this turn. Um, then we have Siegfried Balakmir, who is going to max out Dark Pact. And we do need to give him some new units. Another Vargeist. I'm actually tempted to give him like a couple more units of Varga so we can just smash the Black Tower of Arkhan. Like rather than Graveguard, we just give him a couple units of Vargeists. And what's the last unit we're missing? I think it's like a Vargolf, right? Yeah. So Siegfried can move towards the Black Tower of Arkhan with Rudiger to back him up. And we should just be able to take this quite easily. Oh, let's just uh, break the siege. And I'll attack this guy instead. Ah, well that now works. I don't know why, just because that lord was involved, it would be so much more difficult. That's really weird. But it's Black Tower of Arkhan, here's ours. Let's get rid of these buildings. We'll start building up the Bellfire Brazier. Very, very good. So with Malsar, I guess we're going to sort of head up the border here. Because we need to get prepared to take on the Rakaf Dynasty, who are building army after army after army. <laughs> Getting full strength after Setra, I think, previously wiped them off the face of the map. In like one battle, <laughs> Kemri destroyed four armies. That happened like a while ago, but yeah, it was pretty insane. Let's damage the walls again. Good stuff, and uh, we'll just have Vlad lead the battle onto Huelatol. I was hoping to order resolve this, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to. And maybe with the uh, walls damaged. The world will be mine. It will be an easier battle to play out anyway. Let's fight it on the bottom up. Let's see how far we get today. Um, there aren't actually many settlements left to take. So we're getting pretty close to the end. Gamble for more wins. And we'll start the deployment. We have Vanguard deployment, which is always helpful. We're going to avoid sending up a couple of these guys, though, which are damaged. Have these tucked to one side. Uh, we'll have Vlad knock on the gates, I think. Or maybe we could have him climb if we're only climbing with five units. Yeah, that's fine. Let's start the battle. These guys can go forwards like so. Start climbing like that, and we'll have 
Vlad come up on the side. Argoth can go knock in. And we'll just make sure to bring this army over as well. We've got a couple of Vargas, they can fly over. Those ones can stay out of the way. Do they have any artillery? Doesn't look like it. Oh, why is my Vargolf running through the gate like an idiot? I would like to maybe get a decent Vortex spell down here though, if I can. It's looking like a good opportunity. Dive into these skeleton archers and wipe them out. Let's just get the rest of the units over here. Where's Vlad? Vlad can just come down and start bashing on these Ashabdi. a few Vargas so we can just erect those skeleton spearmen nicely. I put them in a group with the terror ghosts. We can just delete units as we see them. Is that Vargas really Okay, it is going to survive, but barely. What are these Nehekara warriors doing? Okay, Vlad's killing off the Shabdi nicely. Let's go and hit those Nehekara warriors. Uh, let's just get this group to go and fly into those as well. I'm going to come off the walls with the Cairn race and help out the melee down here. Assuming that we knock down the gates sometime soon. We do actually have a dragon. Completely forgot about that. Actually moved and dodged it. That's no good. Let's dive on in. Get that debuff going. Buff him up. Do the Tormentor Sword as well. And let's just put down a Melkos Missile Miasma. Oh, on top of that, we can have all the Vargos run on in.
I might even have some Blood Knights come in. Alright, time for Vlad to continue to be a badass and take out another unit of a Shabti on his own. <laughs> Look at this. That's just ridiculous. He's not even damaged. I think he's still full health. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on, Vlad. Mess him up. It's the easiest way to avoid army losses, to be honest. Just have Vlad do all the work. Let's just buff his magic or his melee attack. It's going to push him up to 76. That should be good by Necrosphinx. Nice. Now we kill the Tomb Prince. And I might bring my magic over here. We can engage Tomb Guard with our guys. I don't mind about that. I'm just going to fly over the top here and use a Torment Sword. Keep them in place. And then Vlad can just do an invocation on the top. <laughs> Job done. Yeah, so we minimised army losses quite well there, I think. The reason I'm doing that is mainly so that I can just continue the push. Because I don't think there's many raised dead around here. Uh, let's occupy it. That's going to be the main settlement under our control. Alright, uh, so Warmond, I guess, needs to head down to the mine of the bearded skulls. Or go down to the border. And we'll have Bethilda head that way as well. Uh, Mime Rag, I think we'll just have him camp outside the Sentinels of Zeti and just kill the Rebellion when it comes. As for Isabella, she's still trying to sort out the public order. And if she moves out, it'll be minus 10. What if we just stop taxing it? Because it's not like we need the money anymore. I'll go down to minus six. Then we can carry on to the marks of the old one and start taking this province. As for Milland, Milland's heading round to like Sabatoon. Yeah. It's going to take him a little while to get there. Mine of the Bearded Skulls is quite well defended, it does have wars. So, I don't know, Warman should be able to deal with that on his own, so I might just leave him to it and we'll have Vlad move to Idza so that we can sort the public order. Right, as for Bernard, he's taking Bagar. It's a quick auto resolve. Thank you very much. You want the Balefire Brazier first. Good. that one. Are we in range to hit Lost Bateau? We are not. Ready. We'll just move up to the border and we'll take it next turn. A 
Let's see who else needs to move. Oscar. Oscar was going to raid the lands of the Rakaf dynasty. Should help us spread some vampiric corruption. We have Casper, who wants to move out of Kofa sooner than later. Again, we could probably just turn off the tax so that we can continue to Lashik. So we'll do that, and then we'll have Gunther build up the gibbet there, and he can start to march towards Martek. Good. And we have Milland, who's ready to attack Gerhard's mercenaries. And apparently this is a 50-50. Personally, I think we're just going to wreck them. But we'll fight it on the battle map anyway, because I don't want to lose this. We haven't actually lost an open field battle throughout this entire campaign. We've only lost minus element battles, I think. And maybe a few siege battles that I played out. Like siege battles in defense, where I was trying to do as much damage as possible by playing it. What is this battle map? <laughs> this is disgusting. Uh, we don't need more wins. That's actually pretty good. And we do have the dire wolves. We've got the fell bats for flanking. We've got the cripples for flanking as well. That is our group. Let's carry on. Once we get up in the face of the uh, free company militia, we should be good. I think they're all camping up on this hill. I don't think I've ever played on this battle map before. It's a very odd one. We do have mortars, so they might do a little bit of damage to us with those initially. And honestly, I might just like line up. Uh, actually, looks like they're already going to be there. That's fine. We'll have these go into a separate group. And we'll just attack forwards. And then the direwolves and the crypticals can come around the side. Bats can just fly over the top and kill the mortar. They're just going to kite. Maybe they'll just kite. Well, there is some black orcs, we can just surround them. Gonna be keeping that uh, giant busy, which is good. I need these guys to attack the black orcs in the back, and we're probably some of these. These can all dive down into the free company militia here. Actually, I might have them dive into these free company militia. That unit will probably route. And then what I can do is have these guys come around the back of the free company militia. And we can have the bats do the same. Keep those guys healed. Probably put more melee attack onto the crypt ghouls so they do more damage to the black orcs. Okay, 
Okay, let's now smash into these and make them all route. Doing loads of damage to them. That's good. Good stuff. Another invocation, please. As soon as the free company militia are dealt with, uh, we can focus on the Black Orcs and surrounding them. I'm going to get these to come back because they need to chase down these free company when they brought. Like a Gerhard over here. I'm having loads of little holes poked in him. Okay. So I'll probably just leave the Crypticals to run those down. We'll have the bats come back and the skeletons. We've got the Crypt Ghouls coming back now as well, because the Dire Wolves can just finish off the other unit. Alright, let's have these two line up. And then we'll just charge into the back of the Black Orcs, make sure they're surrounded. I'm kind of tempted to try and get my Lord involved here, but it's a bit risky. He's not very strong at all. But he is quite a lot of sort of extra damage. Alright, so we'll let the Fellbats just go in and start smacking him. Yeah, let's get him involved. I brought them up above them so that more of them actually engage at the same time. These black orcs fighting so damn hard. I don't know how much Gerhard paid them to fight for him, but <laughs> probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> The army is broken. Alright, let's just end it. I can probably just attack them again. Finish them off. And I can raise a couple more dead, just to be sure. I might just put, like throw a Blood Knight in there, just so that we can uh, auto resolve. Strike out. Soon I'll be all oh, okay. We can only get zombies here. I think that's because we're out of the region. Drag them to our necrotic and I'll do. Follow me. And we don't need the army anymore. Can level them up. But I guess there's no point. Unless it asks me to, I won't bother. So that's the rogue army dealt with. Um, it, where's the other rogue army? Celestial Storm. I think they are down at the bottom, right? 
Yeah, they're down here near the wizard's wizard caliph's palace. All the other armies have moved. Artosa can level up. All that damaged building there. And we'll end the turn. The Kemri for sure on their last legs. I think the last thing that will happen in this campaign is just an epic battle versus the Rakaf dynasty. Because they have so many armies. Although they have just spread out. Maybe this is our chance to declare war on them, actually. Oh, Volker's back. Who shall we destroy? He can join Milland. Milland can update him on what he's been up to. We'll go that little bit closer, just in case we don't have enough movement range. Alright, time for Isabella to take the marks of the old one. That is now ours. Like public order elsewhere is fine. We did turn off the tax here eventually to sort that out. Okay. Uh, let's take the mine of the bearded skulls. This might be one we actually have to play. Attempted order resolve. Yeah, okay, we got it. No worries. And who are the tall? We may as well start building the ghost fence. It might be worth just jumping out and allowing that to rebel. Ready. What do you want? Yeah, that's fine. Um, next up is Meinrad. Uh, Meinrad's waiting for his rebellion. Then we have Bernard, who recently took Bagar. Let's get the Cursed Gemstone Mineshaft. We'll head towards Antok. They're creating a new army. And we're going to have Count Ewald take Lost Plateau. Easy peasy. And then we'll go down to Kalak Zorn. Uh, so Rudiger. Rudiger is at the Black Tower of Arken. Do we want to attack the Rakaf dynasty now? I think we do. Because their armies have all just spread out. This would be the best time to do it. It's technically an actual treachery, but I really don't care at this point. Look at these armies, they're so trash. We can have Rudiger do it. Goodbye. <laughs> and then we got uh, Oscar here. Go attack these guys. <laughs> I love the way they all run away. That's fantastic. Uh, we'll just attack the settlement, I guess. And that way they'll actually reinforce, and then we can just kill them all. That's the pools of despair under our control. Very good. Uh, let's level up Oscar. Continue with Dark Pact. And we'll have Gunther come and attack Bel Alayed. <clears throat> well, this is actually a decent garrison here. Oh, this is like their good army, I think. But with this battle, it will take away their second to last settlement of the Rakaf dynasty. I'm probably going to have to head a army up back up north, so we'll send Malsar because he's probably our shittest general. As for Siegfried Balakmir, and we can probably leave the Black Tower of Arken and head towards El Kalabad. 
Yeah, let's march down here. Assuming that there's no big armies to really kill us off. Uh, Rudiger? Uh, let's go attack this guy. And we will give him the quick blood upgrade. Right, now Casper. Casper's in range to take that Sheik, so we'll do that. And it looks like we're going to have to play it out. Let's jump on in. Really not very far now from world domination. Just a shame that some of these small minor settlements require us to play out the battles. Because they are very repetitive in that we do almost exactly the same thing every time. And there's not really much way for us to vary what we do. <laughs> Not without making it unnecessarily difficult, anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's just fly these over. If our guys can just go pile on in. I don't want the Var guys to be first. It's just a bad idea. Your time has come. At once. Ooh, probably shouldn't have done that breath attack. <laughs> She's Arcane Conduit, and uh, I might put down the Purple Son of Zarus here. The upgraded version just lasts longer, so... That is perfect. I did lose the damage, actually. I can get my vampire engaged with skeleton archers, that's fine. I love the way both of the Vargolfs have just come straight through. In this case I don't really mind because there's nothing really there to stop us. Just speed things up a bit. Spawning a Shabti behind my grave guard. Oh, very nice. Get a couple of blood knights. Go and attack these. going to fire a breath attack into the skeleton spearmen. Nice. We'll go hit the Nehekara warriors after that. I might want to put down an invocation here. 
just to help heal up that Vargolf a little bit. I guess I could have taken off the Vargos as well, but that's okay. Terror guys just nomming the Nehekara horseman. Got such a choice. It's like giving a dog a bone. that. Let's just uh, push on the Tomb Prince. I might have the Vargos just keep knocking on the gate actually just so we get that open. I'm tempted to just like go fate of Buna these carrion. They're very close to losing because of army losses. Vampire. Is that going to work? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Vampire. Job done. Good 201 kills for the Vargeists. 149 for our vampire. She actually did pretty well with the um, Vortex spell. The Pit of Shades. And Lashik already has the gibbet, so we'll keep that. Um, but he's now going to be moving on to Sorcerer's Island and Wizard Caliph's Palace. And we'll level him up. Continue with Beguile. And she can now be immortal. Awesome. And that's everything done. Thilder is not needed anymore, really. We have him staying exactly where he is. Settlement upgrade available takes us up to Grond. Ah, whatever, let's just put the money into that. And then it's going to take us back south. Where we don't really even need to invest money anymore. Siege construction available at Bal Alayad. So this will be our next battle. Let's go. There's no big units like Necrosphinxes and stuff. So we should be absolutely fine. Most of these units, like the skeletons, are pretty trash. Just gamble. More wins. And uh, I'll just keep these off to each side. Start the deployment, start the battle. I'm like so. Argos go forwards. Are we missing a unit? I feel like we're missing a terror ghost. Vampire. Swiftly. At least this is a good target for a, a hay pit of shades. Blood magic. How much do we need to upgrade? Perfect. We are 
all those trashy skeletons gonna get wrecked. <laughs> that did so much damage. Imagine if I did another one like straight after on top of that. It'd be crazy. We've already caused two tiers of their passive. <laughs> Love it. As soon as that gate comes down, <laughs> those units are going to be beat on pretty damn hard. Gonna bring my blood knights over. The next pit of shades will probably be even better. Though saying that these sepulchral stalkers. Ouch. And it looks like this terror geist is being beat on as well. We can just break away from that. That'd be good. We'll come on to the sepulchral stalkers. I really don't want them to continue that. I might have my vampire engage the carrion. Actually, maybe not. Not if they're landing. Push that unit through. Wipe out those of Shabti nicely. Loads of new units coming in here. Are we ready for the next juicy bit of shades? This lady going to win us the battle on her own back. <laughs> that is insane. So much damage. Alright, next we'll do an invocation. And then that'll be almost all of our magic used. How are we not engaging these skeleton archers yet? <laughs> We're just taking the taking the fight. Taking the damage for no reason. And having the mortars engine in this engagement is pretty crazy as well, because that's doing loads of damage. Well those skeleton and the horsemen will attack them with our vampire. She can do pretty well against those models. That is fine. The terror geist has taken off. Let's uh, put a breath attack onto the, the Shabti. I think a lot of them are pretty low. Well, they might be hit by army losses quite soon. That would be good. We've almost got enough for another invocation. Only one more needed. Perfect.
Yeah, it can't be long now, surely. They have a couple units off to the sides. They haven't engaged yet. Just keep trying to squeeze through the gate here, best we can. Let's buff him up. There's Nehekara Horseman slowly but surely being picked off, which is good. They are pretty decent against infantry, which is why those Graveguard are almost dead. Still or we're just going to have to deal with that. Heart. I would get my Vargas involved, but I guess it doesn't matter if they die. Let's just get them in there. Oh, we have units coming in behind us. Some skeleton chariots. Is that it? Yes it is. The good old crumble. Vampire. Are we gonna have enough for one more invocation? Will join us. I don't think we are. Not enough time. Okay. Well, 248 kills for the Morse engine. I thought it would do well. But 419 kills with those Pit of Shades. Very good. Very good indeed. And that's done. Bell Aliad is ours. We can't afford the Balefire Brazier there. Sleep, the Rakaf Dynasty almost destroyed. So not too many more settlements to take. But I think enough to give us a little bit of a headache. So I am going to leave it here. Unfortunately, it has been my time. That's all for now. We are so damn close to the end. I think the next episode, I will guarantee, will be the last. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Okay,